So, once you've accomplished all the previous exercises, you should now have a better idea of the process by which a structure is proposed, designed, and analyzed. Thus, we'll now approach a model like this, that although typical, will permit us to have a better grasp of the procedure we should follow, for developing any structural project. To begin with, here we've a structure to which multiple structural cases have been already assigned. Let's for example, have a closer look at the second load combination and the resultant deformations. As you can see, we're having a deformation of 2 centimeters only, but which is regardless beyond the permissible values. And again, this doesn't directly implies that the model isn't viable, but rather that we should perform a thorough review of the sections, connections and existing forces. So, let's clear these results.